Let's see uh, what's happening here. So in the diagram, uh, PQRS is the cyclic quad. So let's indicate that, right? We have PQRS being a cyclic quad. I'm just going to write that down to you uh, because a cyclic quad um, is very important to us, right? There's a few properties around that. And then KP is a tangent. So let's have a uh, tangent to them. And then... Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? We are told that CA is parallel to QS, so we have parallel lines. And then P1 is equals to R2, right? Uh, so what I've been proposing is that with only these four keywords, we should be able to, you know, answer all these questions that we have, right? So let's go ahead and give it a try and see what happens. So the first question, 10.1 is saying that uh, let's prove given reasons that uh, S1 is equals to T2 and yeah indeed S1 is equals to T2 let me uh, show you how so let's look at S1 S1 is here right is an exterior angle of a cyclic quad right we're using our first uh, keyword there so if it's an exterior angle of a cyclic quad, it should be equals to Q1 plus Q2, right? Uh, so S1 is equals to Q1 plus Q2, right? Uh, an exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equals to interior opposite, right? Yeah. Um, so we have exhausted uh, the cyclic quad. Uh, now let's uh, look at uh, T2, right? Because we're supposed to prove that S1 is equals to T2. Um, S1 has no immediate connection with T2, right? So let's try other ways here. Um, when I look at T2, I realize very quick that T2 should be equals to R2 plus Q2, right? Uh, an exterior angle of a triangle is equals to uh, the sum of the two interior opposite, right? So what are we saying here? We're saying that uh, T2 will be equals to uh, R2 plus Q2, uh, an exterior angle um, of a triangle is equals to uh, those two interior angles, right? So from here, where do we go? We can see that S1 is equals to Q1 plus Q2 and T2 is equals to R2 plus Q2, right? Um, let's go to our next keyword. We have the keyword tangent, right? Let's see what it can give us. So from the keyword tangent, uh, we will see immediately that P1 here uh, is supposed to be equals to Q1, right? Uh, P1 is supposed to be equals to q1 right because of the turn code theorem right because of the turn code theorem so let's write it down let's say that p1 is equals to q1 because of the turn code uh theorem right uh so from here what can we say let's look at the keywords again uh with parallel lines uh they won't give us much but if you see here we are told that p1 is equals to r2 right uh, p1 is equals to q1 but then on the statement itself we are told that p1 is equals to r2 so what does that tell us that tells us that r2 is equals to q1 because they are all equals to p1 right so now you should be able to see here let me show you something now you should be able to see here that instead of r2 we can write q1 because we have proved that r2 is equal to q1 because they're all equals to p1 so instead of r2 plus q2 we can say q1 plus q2 right so now it will be easy to see here that um s1 is q1 plus q2 and t2 is q1 plus q2 so we have proved that uh T2 is equals to S1 uh, since they are all equals to Q1 plus Q2. And um, yeah, you get your four marks. And now let's move to 10.2. So we at 10.2 now. So 10.2 is saying that uh, let's prove given reasons that AD divided by AR is equals to AS divided by ac so let's go and look at those lines and see what's happening right uh, are we going to use parallel lines or do we have to prove that uh, certain triangles are similar to each other let's go to our sketch yeah so we have ad where's ad yes ad here right 
so ad divided by ar right divided by ar is said to be equals to as divided by ac so we have as here divided by ac right so uh, i can see immediately here that uh this is all going on in true triangles right in triangle um not a but triangle in triangle a s d and triangle um a c a c r a c r so if we can prove that a uh, triangle a c d and triangle a c r are similar to each other then we can play around with their size right and be able to prove that so let's you know go ahead and prove that triangle a c d and triangle a c r are similar to each other even when you look at them right they do look similar but you know we we have to prove we we not try uh, we're not trusting our eyesight here we actually have to prove that uh they're similar to each other uh so real quick you can see here that let me just erase this line so you can see here real quick right that um a is a shared angle of the two triangles uh a s d and the triangle a c r right uh a is a common angle so we can say that uh angle a is equal to angle a obviously right this is a common angle right uh there isn't really uh much to say there so from here uh where do we go let's see let's see let's see so here we are expecting uh angle s1 to be equals to angle c2 right uh, because of just you know how the triangles are so let's you know uh, give it a look and see how we can potentially prove that so we already know from uh, 10.1 that s1 is equals to t2 right uh, but then since uh, these two lines here are parallel to each other then t2 should be equals to c2 right uh, because they are is it called alternating uh, corresponding I, I forgot the name but it's called something we know that c2 is equals to t2 right and then you're gonna give uh, that reason there but you know what's going on you know what's going on uh, there's some reason there why t2 is equals to c2 it's because of the parallel lines for sure but no there's a specific reason why we say those are true uh, so now since that uh, since we've proved that t2 is equals to c2 uh, we can conclude that uh, d1 should be equals to r1 uh, why is d1 equals to r1 because uh, the third angle of uh, triangles, right? Uh, if the other two angles are close to each other, then consequently the third angle should be close to each other. Uh, so we've proved that uh, ASD is similar to ACR, right? Uh, so let's look here. ASD is similar to ASR. So now we can see that A A R D, right, divided by AR is equals to as divided by ac right we can only have those lines if we've proved that those two are triangles are similar to each other so what are we saying now now we're saying that um ad ad divided by ar can be equals to as uh, divided by ac if and only if triangle uh asd is similar to triangle acr and that's how we do 10.2 right so now let's look at 10.3 so 10.3 say that uh, let's prove that ac multiplied by cd is equal to ar multiplied by tc in this question i cannot see an immediate way why ac multiplied by cd should be equals to ar multiplied by tc uh, but you just wrote this paper today if you have an idea let me know in the comments